Hello to you, it's Sarah from the Empowered Light Leader. And I felt called to make a video today um, to usher in this beautiful energy that's occurring. We have the uh, super moon, the um, full moon, and of course the eclipse. Um, as I was tuning in this morning, I was feeling a lot of beautiful um, heart healing. And I wanted to create this light language transmission to help you get the most out of the energies that we're being given as an opportunity as i feel to really as we're entering mercury and retrograde as well to really stop pause who are we what do we want what do we need to heal what have we been attached to that no longer serves us and welcoming you know huge transformational change with the eclipse without fear but having gratitude for these changes that occur that are ultimately happening to amplify our ability to be honest with ourselves and amplify our ability for emotional healing as well as anchoring and grounding our light to the earth so we can help um, activate and align these newer earth energies as a lot of us have been called here to do so. So in order to do that, you know, in order to welcome opportunities and larger, more expansive opportunities to rise into the truth of who you are and to really embody your purpose now, it's necessary to really go within and to reharmonize and alkalize and calibrate to this new you that you're becoming. And who is this new you you're becoming? In order to welcome this new you, you also have to accept and love and understand the other parts of you that have been hurt. And some of us may have done this on the surface, like I mentioned in my last video, you know, being the mermaid, I'm discovering intentionally going deeper into the emotions is how we're gonna get there. So all of this is combining to offer us an opportunity for deeper healing, deeper understanding, and sort of ascension or awakening, an opportunity to really shift and quantum leap into the highest version of ourselves. And that can be scary for some of us because we've been comfortable <laughs> and sort of, you know, these motions, even though we, we may not be totally happy, we've been comfortable. And sometimes there's risk and change and risk and really going to these places. But ultimately, the deeper we go, like I said in the last video, the more treasure that's there for us to transform and heal. It's the phoenix reborn rising from the ashes, right? So we really are being a gift, being given a gift from source and from the energies that are aligning in this way. And I want to add before I begin the transmission, a lot of um, a lot of elvish energy was coming through me today, um, and I feel that the elvish energy is interesting because it feels both of the galactic. Um, particularly Lyra, and it feels earth-like um, earth as well. So as far as I've channeled, I feel that elves are here on the earth. They live or are in a realm of an in-between, sort of non-physical realm in which they are linked with the elemental energies, but they're also existing in a different plane or frequency, but they're also connected to the stars as well. And if you've ever watched The Lord of the Rings, I find as a channel and intuitive, there's a lot of truth in that. You know, where does our imagination come from, right? Are we channeling, you know, are our great artists or authors, you know, are they channeling? So just letting you know that this particular energy is coming forward today to help link the physical and the non-physical realms because they are of earth and not of earth as we are. So let's pay attention to the physical and the non-physical. In other words, the humanity, what we can see, feel, and the non-physical, attuning our senses to the non-physical to know that we are more than just human, that what we are observing is only one way. You know, using our heightened senses, our divine senses, our heightened evolution. This is part of our ascension, seeing in a, in a non-linear way, seeing in a non-physical way. Um, and this energy, this elvish energy supports that as well as 
a lot of wisdom here rooted in the earth rooted in the trees rooted in the wisdom of oneness that surrounds us and as we evolve we're going to connect more to our ancestors connect more to the rhythm and the energy of uh, the earth and all of the answers that are already here in in the ground in the soil in the dirt in our dna and as we root and connect to that energy, we're connecting to stardust, to, to the matter that has created us. We are of the stars, we are of uh, creation. The earth is all linked. Um, so that is kind of tied into this message as well. It's beautiful energies that are coming through me. I'm going to bring in um, the sort of elvish energy to give you a transmission that's going to help speed and amplify or direct with purpose and intention your path, your journey for this um, celestial event and for this energetic movement that's happening right now to really give you an edge into, okay, where was I? Where am I? Where am I going now? What do I want to refine, clear, mold, shape? let go Ooh, uh, look at that to then propel myself forward so beautiful so let's breathe take a nice step breath deep breath in setting the intention to receive a light language transmission for the purpose of spiritual advancement awakening and aligning with the journey of this super moon full moon um and eclipse <sighs> thank you the Mata Ukurt Seed Seert Kisuku Kirk Tishkutu Seert Tishkutu Seert Tishkutu Seert Tasakata Tishkutu Sud Seert Mare Kyart Kukur Alt Erek Akata Seert Seer near Ershere Alla Le Arundurku Arundurku Kir Mankar Kanta Shukur Kyarta Ereser the Kukuria the Arkuts A theatar tear a makar kiata a thuth ir muthur kiart kiamp akakap. Bisho krusir tio, bisho krusir tu, a shukur kinderesata, a shukur tunser di theatar, a thukuthayant, a thukuthir the art, a thukuthir at the hearth, basheker kiartathi, u surieta ma arthathi, u surieta theart and math if the kiarthi, mosukria esha krokozo, berin darem surt, berin darem surt. Rutu Surya nda keria al rutu, a shikrema aru arulia theriat, a shikumuruthi ndari, a thu kurushiar de eresi arrianda, a kurinde inda inda yarenda, umbian yan 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 Arke <laughs> song of healing ancient song of healing and connecting all life forms all living things you know reconnecting the grid of creation and within your own cellular structure and dna as a memory this thread woven throughout all of creation reweaving reweaving that thread through your own divine thread it's beautiful beautiful 
fall. There is a divine thread of creation that is woven throughout all living things. You are part of that thread. How you integrate and weave that thread within your own existence is how you take part in a conscious awareness of infinite creation, consciously aware of your part in the creation of oneness throughout all living things. And so that helps us evolve and let go of anything within us that still is aligning to separation, reharmonizing to the unity and allowing this thread to be woven through the song of your ancestors and the song of your own heart's desire that is unlimited in its expression, that is joyful, and that is not founded in logical thought or limitation. Give credence to this place within you, dear ones. This is how you will transform your world. This is the source of your liberation. Ah, that's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so watch this again if you need to. There's a lot of power behind these words. Okay, I have to go pick my daughter up. Pardon me for drooling all over the place as I'm speaking light language. Some of these dialects feel <laughs> like I have to give it a little more. <laughs> Sending you much love on this May 26th, blood flower, super moon, eclipse full moon. Love you all. Hope to see you soon. Bye.